keeping level with you, Molly. Opioids have a 97% relapse rate. You have gone through this 15 times. Do you know what an opiate antagonist is? No. It's a shot we give you once a month. This shot essentially makes you immune to getting high. Is it safe? Are you kidding me? Now all of a sudden your body's a temple? You have to be clean for at least a week. Four more days, seriously? I'm tired of what we've been through. I'm scared for you whenever she's around. Who is that? If I wasn't a junkie, would you even ask? Probably not. Whenever I've decided to re-engage with her, I've always done it with my eyes wide open. So you feel like you've run out of hope? Please, I can't do this. Yes, you can. Like you want to give up the fight? Mom, how is she? She sits around smoking, twitching, and I am there watching her like a hawk and pretending that I'm not. Almost one day down. Three more to go. When you think it's the end of the road I'm so sorry. Wish I'd been around. You should have been. You think it's my fault that you're an addict? Oh, my God. It just goes on and on I am and so on. sorry that my drug addiction is so incredibly difficult on you. Sometimes I get the feeling that I don't want to love her anymore. When you think it's the end of the road. Do you know how many times that I have told myself that I'm not going to steal to get high? Someday I want things to be easier for her. That I'm not going to lose custody of my children to get high. When you think that the mountain's too high. Oh, please make it stop. What does it take to get see? And you'll never get through. I'm so sorry. If there's anyone who has the strength to break free of this, it's you. I really believe that. I'm proud of you. Somehow you do. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cherry the Geek TV. My name's Joe Vinorni, and the new movie, Four Good Days, opening April 30th, uh, centers, about, uh, centers around a mother uh, and a daughter. Uh, the daughter is dealing with a decade-long heroin addiction and it is uh, about the mother's last ditch attempt to uh, give sobriety and uh, to her daughter. Uh, the film stars Glenn Close and Mila Kunis, but the movie and the characters are based on the real life mother and daughter, uh, Amanda Wendler and Libby Alexander, and they're joining us here today on Cherry the Geek TV. Ladies, welcome. Thank Hi, you. thank you. Uh, I was wondering, uh, the, the movie is based on an article that appeared in the Washington Post uh, from Eli Saslow in 2016. Uh, the article is called, How's Amanda? Uh, it's an in-depth, beautiful article. If, if, if those that are watching, uh, you can Google it. It's, it's available online. Uh, it, it, uh, kind of, they kind of followed you around uh, during these four days where you have to uh, stay clean in order to get a shot that will block uh, you from getting high. Uh, but the article also goes into the past and how you got up to that point as well. Uh, talk, to you, talk to me about that article and Eli and, and when he approached you and what were your thoughts uh, when, when this reporter comes and says, hey, I want to uh, write about this, your addiction and your struggles and your family and uh, expose this to the world. What were your initial thoughts uh, when he was when he approached you? Um, well, at first, um, when he approached me to to do this article, I was, I mean, no, honestly, I wanted to do it. I was, you know, I was all in because I really wanted to, you know, get the word out, get a, a conversation started, you know, uh, around addiction. So, I mean, you know, when and and then the other hand, though, I was a little hesitant about sharing, you know, my life story. I mean, I've done a lot of things that were shameful, you know, in my active addiction, that was a little heartbreaking for me to, you know, have to relive, but I thought it, you know, I needed, I needed to share this, to share my story, you know, in order for everybody to see like the, you know, the full circle of it, you know, so yeah, it was, 
I mean, I'm, I am glad I am this. That was the best decision I've ever made in my life to do the article. Libby, how, Libby, how about you? What were your thoughts going in initially? Well, when she first told me this Washington Post reporter wants to do this story, you know, about getting a bit of a trial shot, or um, I guess I'm not supposed to say that, but um, getting this shot, I was like, okay, sure. You know, I just, um, I didn't know really what to think. And um, so I talked on the phone with Eli a couple of times and I made him send me articles that he's written because I didn't know if this is real. You know, I'd been manipulated a lot. So, um, but it was real and uh, it really changed her life. I'm glad she did it and I'm proud of her. So the article comes out. I, I think most people or a lot of people, if they're dealing with these types of issues, they would want to keep that private. They, I mean, everybody's different, but I think a lot of people would have a hard time opening up to that kind of stuff. But now the article's out and people in your, I mean, I'm sure you had people in your circle and family members that knew this is kind of hard to hide that kind of thing for, for 10 years, but, but, uh, and you probably had some friends that you grew up with that knew but now everybody knows everybody mm -hmm. all the relatives know all the friends know strangers know what did that have any impact positive or negative or or was it or we At opened first, up about this i found out that i had seven first cousins all dealing with the same exact thing nobody knew because we didn't talk about this so i was glad that amanda put her story out there and it shattered that now we're, we're having this conversation so. so the article comes out 2016. Uh, there's uh, the direct writer, director of the film, Rodrigo Garcia, uh, uh, meets with Eli and, and says uh, he's interested in turning this into a feature film. Uh, the, they bring John Avnan on board as a producer who's, who people know from Fried Green Tomatoes and the TV show Boomtown. So he's a big, big producer. Um, they come to meet with you. <laughs> uh, and say and tell you now we're going to turn this article. We're interested in turning your story into a film. What was your reaction then? Like, I, oh my God, I couldn't even believe it. I mean, it took a couple days to even get my head around it. Like, is this really happening? Like, why me when there's so many others that have the same story, you know, as mine? So, I mean, yeah, I I was so excited, you know, to do it. I mean, so excited. You know, I, yeah, I just can't, I wish I could like convey the excitement that I felt, you know, through to you guys. I mean, it was just, I was over the moon. I mean, I really was. How about you, Libby? Um, yeah, it was, you know, we were kind of shocked, you know, seriously. Um, but I think her story has helped a lot of people. And I know the movie is just going to continue that. Um, it's going to help mothers of addicts get a support system and it's going to help addicts get a support system. And, you know, Amanda has learned um, to uh, how to recover because addiction is a chronic illness and she's learned managing skills that she needed to. Had this not come along, I don't think, I can't say for sure, but I don't think she would be in this place that she's in now. I don't think positive things would have happened for her. Had she not just bared her soul and told the world the story? So everybody, I think, at one point in their life uh, imagines, oh, when they make a movie about me, this is who I want. I want so-and-so to play me. Everybody's had that thought at one point. Me, of course, obviously, would be Brad Pitt. But, <laughs> um, but uh, you, your initial, your initial thoughts, uh, uh, when they say well, they're going to make a movie about you, who was the first person that, that you visualize? Like, yeah, that would be a good person playing me. Honestly, I love Mila Kunis. She's at like my, one of my favorite. I had picked out like three different people and she was one of the three. Just, I didn't like, I just imagined if it could be one of these three people and she was actually one of them. And then I think um like um, Jennifer Lawrence was another, but um Mila is my, like one of my top, favorite so when they actually told me that it was her I mean I just I, I seriously I could not believe it because when they first told me about the film I didn't think that it would be 
with such a a list celebrities. You know, I didn't. Yeah, that's what we thought. We thought it was going to be a lifetime movie. Uh, you know, like because he didn't. When they came to us, they didn't tell us right away whether it would be in theaters or not. So when we found all that out, and then Mila playing and Glenn playing, I mean, it was truly like, I mean, just I was so excited and so honored that these powerful women can share our story. And how about you, Libby? Who was your first visualization of of someone that would play you in your life story? <laughs> Um, I actually never had one of those. So, um, but when they first, I thought maybe Sissy Spacek. Um, and then when they told me Glenn Close, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I talk about that. So you've talked, uh, Amanda, you've talked about your reaction with Mila Kunis. She was on your short list. So that's awesome. So Libby, you're told Glenn Close, seven time Oscar nominee. Yeah, uh, I, was, I, was dumb. I was like, oh my God, for real? <laughs> Pinch me. Yeah, it was um, but I'm so honored that we have these two extremely talented, um, powerful women telling this story because I, I think it has a bigger impact and a bigger reach with them telling this story. So I'm so grateful to them for doing this. So uh, they both met with you beforehand, or I, Glenn, Glenn, I believe, did not meet in person. She skyped with you. Is that correct? Yeah, we skyped. Yeah, and then yeah. Mila met with you, Amanda, in person. What were those initial meetings like? Uh, what were you, uh, discussions and and were they like how long how long did that interview process go? Where they were trying to discover who you were as people. In order well, to you? actually, I didn't meet um, Mila in person. Um, we did we we had met through Skype as oh. well. Yeah, but my first. I mean, my first impression of Mila, it was, she made me feel, cause I was really nervous to talk to her. I'm like, you know, oh my God, I'm talking to, you know, Mila Kunis, what do I say? How do I act? But she made me feel so comfortable and the way, I mean, she's so, so real. So, I mean, just, she made me feel very comfortable. And then, I mean, just when she was learning about me, I, I knew that I trusted her with my story. I knew that she would portray me, you know, and you know, I know that the movie doesn't portray, you know, I mean, a good light, you know, right away, but I knew that she would do it in a very respectful way. So, I mean, she just, yeah, she, she, she hit it home for me. She did an amazing job. And Libby, how about you with your, with your conversations with Glenn Close? How, how were they in terms of her getting to know you? It was interesting because she wanted to hear me speak. She wanted to know the way I use words and my accent. And um, and I was amazed because like, we only talked, I think, for about a half an hour, how much she brought me to life in that little half hour. So now the film's she out. We totally nailed it. And I was like, oh, my yeah. God. So the film's yeah. complete. <laughs> it's about to be released in theaters April 30th. Uh, you've seen the final film. What are your uh, re reactions to the portrayals of your life and to the film itself? So I'll, I'll go ahead and take this one. So um, yeah, the now that the movie's out and I mean, they, they portrayed us in a great way. They portrayed, I mean, Mila, um. <laughs> Mila um, you know, she, she hit it. Like I said, she hit it home, but the movie, I mean, the message behind the movie, I mean, it, that's what I wanted. I wanted the movie to be a conversation starter, you know, to get the word out to, you know, and honestly, to bring more light to addiction. So we as, you know, a community can get, you know, get people the help that they need, you know, in a quicker and a timely fashion instead of three, four weeks. But the movie that, you know, the movie truly believe I it shows you do recover too no matter your struggles no matter how hard you struggle you do recover there is hope you know so if this movie can touch just one or two lives I mean I think that I mean that's why well, that's why I did this I wanted to show people if I can do it you can do it you know there's hope there I mean don't give up if I would have gave up because I mean I, I went to like 15 different rehabs so if I would have you know, just lost hope, but you just never, never quit quitting. And I believe the movie shows that, you know, the struggles I went through and I didn't give in, you know, I stuck with it. 
and you know, and I'm, you know, I'm in recovery today. How long have you, I know there's a, a relapse after the events in the movie, but then you got clean again. How long has it been? How long clean are you? I've been clean um, for three years today. That's awesome. Today, today's the anniversary? And, um, oh, about three, three sorry three, about that. Gotcha. Yeah. And just a quick point, like I wanted to just say this real quick that, you know, I, in the beginning of my recovery, you know, I did have a few slips, but, you know, I just, a lot of people, when they fall like that, they just give back up and, you know, but relapse, I believe now is a part of recovery, you know, but now I know the tools, I have the tools, you know, and now I know what to do, you know, if, you know, if, if I start now, I know when my brain is actually, cause you actually relapse before you ever touch the drug. So I already know, you know, when I'm, when something's going on, but now I have the tools today to, you know, to nip it in the butt, to get it taken care of, you know? So just, yeah, with this movie, I want, I want people to really the message behind it that, you know, if we do recover, there is hope. And let's take the, you know, let's get addiction out of the darkness, bring it to light. You know, it's a disease. It is not, we're not bad people. It is an illness. Let's treat it as one. Well, ladies, thank you so much for uh, uh, talking with me. The film is called Four Good Days, stars Mila Kunis and Glenn Close, and it opens in theaters uh, this Friday, April 30th. Thank you so much, uh, Amanda. Good luck uh, with your continued uh, recovery. And Libby, stay strong. Uh, you're an inspiration. It's been a pleasure Thank talking with both of you. We'll see you Thank next you time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.